So there's a couple of things I wanted to do today. I wanted to uh, go over the Cortell's situation. But I want to save that for a little bit later. But first, I guess we'll get this, uh, we'll get this shadow trailer out of the way. What? All right. Oh my God. It's 69 pages. Okay. Are we doing this? This is going to be a whole thing. Used to watch Cortell's as a kid. I don't even know who that is. This document is an exposure about a user named Cortell's, a.k.a. Melmon, an animation meme YouTuber with around 100k subscribers on her YouTube. Her most popular video being the Hey meme. I, you know, we don't need to know what her most popular video is. It doesn't matter. Introduction to context. Orange and Quartz met roughly somewhere in 2018. Description. Hi, congratulations, you've just been adopted. I'm your mom or dad now, smiley face. What? Jello, I'm Cortells, but you can call me Melman. I'm 17, foo boy, and I'm and I've currently been animating for 8 to 7 years now. I love combusting my ass off into many pieces every time I animate or upload something. I heart emoji. I go I go all out for quality content then Qual quantity. I'm the whole package or nothing. Heist, why I don't upload very much. I think they mean hence. Hence why I don't upload very much. But I promise I'll give you all and more, winky face. Oh boy. I also used to be J Jade Gemstone RRB. For the people that used to watch my old content and still doesn't know, lol. My pronouns are they, she, by the way. Don't care. And then this is a separate description. I'm assuming that this is a description, like, Orange's YouTube description, I guess? Description, if you have questions on the allegations or curtains... Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I love having these side by side. Orange was a watcher of Quartz and met in a public voice call on her old Discord server. They started dating shortly, with their connections lasting roughly four to five years. They are both turning 18 as of this month having dated when they were 12 years old. It is to be noted that their relationship together was online and heavily made public. Mostly by Cortels who would show Orange off a lot, lovingly. Yeah, they're teenagers. Teenagers love to show off how in love they are because they think it's unique to them. However, it started to crumble when Quartz uploaded the beginning of many Vent videos, often about her relationship. It began with a Vent video named Epoch. Oh good, they... They gave us... Oh, <laughs> God damn it. So it was depicting the two miners breaking up. Backup link here. Okay. You ready for some, uh, angst? <laughs> Fuck hell. You <laughs> did. Yeah, thank you, Laka. This is why- this is why we need to bring back family computers. My parents would have never let me do this shit. Wow, that was cringe, but about what I expected from a teenage anime meme YouTuber. Uh, moving into 2019, this is where the Mystic Cortels era started and arguably where she peaked. God, imagine peaking at like 13. Vent videos with orange and quartz were not uncommon. In fact, they were arguably weekly. It caused their relationship to be heavily unstable and upsetting. No way. <laughs> Two teenagers making their, uh, making their interpersonal relationship issues public for all to see and making it a spectacle would be, un would make their relationship unstable? No way. 2021 was when Orange cheated on Quartz with Purple. Ugh, you could write a whole Degrassi season with this kind of drama. I'm lost already. Yeah, I'm lost too. I feel like we need to, like, make, like, a. give me a sec. Orange and Cortels stopped dating, and then Orange cheated on Cortels with Purple. So this is all in 2021, okay? Guys, are you following, al are you following along? So Cortels remained single, and then these two started dating. It said it took a few months for Quartz to realize that she was in fact cheated on. It caused Quartz to feel rightfully upset about the new relationship. Because she continued to flirt with them after they broke up. Oh, so she was like kind of still like... That's her flirting with her still. But then in 2022, they stopped- I guess she stopped flirting in 2022. So, no more flirting after 2022, I assume. Oh, second time Orange 
cheated was on purple with courts without them knowing until August of 2020. But, but they're not dating anymore, so how is it cheating? Oh wait, no, wait! Orange cheated on purple with quartz! Oh, okay. Purple remained neutral after each breakup, noticeably hurt, but sometimes uploading vents. Okay, so purple was also uploading vents. Great. Once purple found out that orange was talking to quartz behind their back, they cut contact with orange. Okay. So they cut contact with orange, but then reconnected. Got it. So, <laughs> so enough of that. Showed proof of this to Momo, and Momo sent proof of- Okay, so there's another person. This is Momo. So they sent evidence to Momo, and then Momo sent that evidence to Purple. So she cut off- so she stopped being on Discord. Took a break, going radio silent for a month. Quartz would go on to post event animation with passive-aggressive captions on Orange's birthday. I gotta say, it's a vast- animation-wise, it's a vast improvement from the uh, previous one. Okay, so there are secret captions. Let me let me just open this up completely. Never gonna know what's in the box. Oh wait 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 wait. Oh wait 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 wait. Oh wait 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 wait. Tear said, "Fuck you. You know who you are." Sobbing my eyes out. Wait 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 wait. Who would have known? Four years later. Sad face. Okay. Tear said, fuck you. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yeah, where are the parents? It, that's the, the question as uh, a tale as old as time. Missing parents. So wait, they started dating again? All right, I guess they started dating again. So purple cut off quartz while Momo cut herself off. <laughs> and the two groups separated. What groups? Okay, so I think what they mean is that Momo is not with purple anymore. Momo is with, uh, Cortels. There. And now there's a big schism. It was like this for roughly a year, a half a year, until Momo came back apologizing to purple, for fuck's sake. And Orange, due to her own experiences with, uh, Cortels. Okay, so now she's back on their side. A few months after, this was when the new animation Honest came out, bringing up- bringing it up to current time. Okay, so this is supposedly from Orange. I wasn't trying to keep things a secret just privately in a way I felt was comfortable for the two of us. Clearly, I was wrong, so I'll admit to what is true in the video, and so. I did cheat on Mel once during 2021, and that was the only time I ever did in our relationship. The other cheating she might refer to was towards my current partner that lasted a few months, give or take. A cheating to which she was aware of and proud of doing. I did go back and forth on her multiple times. Ooh during the relationship. Each time was different. Whatever, they're fucking teenagers, who cares? Mitzi! Hi! Orange apologized for everything. The cheating, the on and off relationship, anything they could have done to make Quartz upset. Mel was not pressured to forgive them. It was... it was to come to terms and the same ground. So she had the opportunity not to. She forgave them. The entire situation was already resolved before the video was even made. The video. Okay. So they created this video uh, May 6, 2023. Melmon believes Orange emotionally abused them, and it was confirmed Orange did in fact cheat on them once. Twice in total. It's Melmon's feelings on the matter. In the description of the video, it started off with her not wanting the video to be inspired or copy. Ah! <laughs> uh, don't copy my vent videos! Uh. Implied essay, yeah, I, I just saw that. Do you guys hate that? Don't copy my vents! Fuck off! Don't post it if you don't want it to be copied, I'm sorry. It sounds like teenagers, lol. Here, th this will catch you up to speed on what's going on. I- this- this seems pretty self-explanatory, so just look at that for a second, and then it'll all make sense. Okay, I, I don't believe in style theft. I mean, unless you're specifically trying to copy somebody to, like, impersonate them or something. Like, people being inspired by your art shouldn't be an issue. It's unfortunate that the art is so good. I wish that they would, uh, use their talent on stuff that was less cringe. And this is coming from the person that draws Undertale cringe, okay? Where was the implied essay? I didn't... 
Where was that supposed to be? Here? So this is supposed to be the implied essay? You virtually raped me. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay. Uh, like, the art and the animation is good, right? It's like actually really good. It's just cringe. <laughs> it's just cringe and it's like useless venting. Like, fine, if you want to make cringe shit like that, keep it to yourself, man. When you start involving, like, other, like, real people, it's like, get over yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? So then Orange made a response to this, so we're gonna read the response. Due to the current upload made by Cortels, I won't be posting anymore. I wasn't trying to keep things a secret, just private in a way I felt was comfortable for the two of us. Clearly I was wrong. So I'll admit to what is true in the video, and so, I did cheat on Mel, once during 2021, and that was the only time I ever- Oh, we, we read this shit already. Would break up, think about the breakup, and come back. Yeah, as most teenagers do. The last time I broke up is when I was 16, it was when I- it should have all ended. The abusive behavior they they described me doing, I wish I could fully talk about. My own behavior is similar to some of these, the only difference being intent, which, as I said, I don't have an- I don't care! You were like 13 to 15, I really don't care. Unless you actually were like, did anything violent or illegal, I don't care. Everything else I wish I could talk or give answers to, like the essay allegation, but I just don't have info on it. Yeah, nobody does, because what the fuck does that even mean? I do have my own truth, it's MY TRUTH! And as much as I would talk about it, I do not feel comfortable making this a spectacle on the internet. You know what? Fair enough. I wouldn't want to either. To gawk and point at. What I can say is that Mel isn't, nor will ever be, the innocent one in the situation. Yes, she was hurt, and she was wronged, but she wasn't the only one who was. And to Mel, you won. I really do hope you're happy. I'm not fighting this anymore, and I'm not going to drag you down like you did to me, because between us two, I have the balls to admit I was wrong. If you ever do decide to talk, you know who to tell. Uh, I do apologize for my actual behavior during the relationship in public and in private. I know many of you are disappointed, and you have the right to be. I will continue to get, to get help and try to be a better person in the future for everyone in my life and more. So this was the original description on the Honest video. Happy three years. Yeah, go on. Tell the world how long you've cheated on me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, please do not turn this into a meme or get inspired off this, since this is a personal thing. Uh, then don't post it. Then do not post it if you don't want people to get inspiration from your work. I'll never understand how, like, hyper-protective people are of their art or their art style. In order to develop your own art style, you have to take inspiration from people. Trying to gate gatekeep who you can and can't take inspiration from is so stupid. Yes, if it's so personal to you that it would emotionally damage you if people took inspiration from it, then don't post it. Have- this is what diaries are for, guys. Come on. But who would have known opening up about past experiences would be so hard? Oh my god, it goes on even longer! Uh, okay, so this is them responding to the response to the video. Okay. But, I didn't get a chance to do this yesterday slash last night. But I'll make a statement here too. Please do not go out of your way to personally go harass said person. Yes, they're a horrid person. But do not go out of your way to personally attack them. Regarding to the hilarious statement made- made my them. You won. I hope you're happy. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, Lamau. How do you manage to make a post admitting to what you've done, yet still try to play the victim at the end? I'm not- I'm not gonna drag you down like you've done to me, yet you're still trying to make me look bad. Yeah, I know there were a few things- There were a few things I've done that weren't a hundred percent, but responding back to how you've treated me is not abuse, dumbass. You can't even get your facts right. I remember everything that's happened, and you're insane if you think people would actually buy you playing dumb. It kinda sounds like gaslighting. This all happened when I was 13 to 15. Um, hello? Did you forget about 2021? Did you forget about last year? Did you- <laughs> You guys like this voice I'm putting on for you? Did you forget I've literally told you everything you've done? Wait, what? Did you forget I've literally told you everything you've done? 
But even after that, you still managed to continue your behavior. There, okay. Bit of a red flag in there. How, did you guys catch on to it? I told you what you did. It's like, I'm telling you my version of events and you're not accepting it. A cheatin' she was aware and proud of. You're funny. Did you forget that I've questioned you on your attempts to cheat? You still- you still were okay with her cheating, though. That's- that's the part. Whatever. Every time I did, you went silent. Yeah, I shouldn't have let it happen on my end. Or in the end, but at that point, I really just wanted you to stay, even if I knew the outcome was just gonna be you leaving again. Yes, I was aware of it, but I was never proud that it happened. I mean, fair enough, but it's like... The point is that you'd still let it happen, but again, teenager shit, it's not that big of a deal. Why do you always have to rely on other people to try and fix yourself? You didn't even relying- you even tried relying on me on how to fix yourself. Not. My. Problem. I- I don't know if- she, is she referring to like, Orange saying that she's getting help? Uh, Cortels, that is something that we call therapy. <laughs> At least I have the balls to say I was wrong. Yeah, right. You wouldn't have said shit if I never opened up. You're a... Okay. The reason why Orange would have, quote, never said anything if you never opened up is because this was a private issue. They have no reason to, like, confess to the internet about her interpersonal uh, relationship issues. It was- she didn't have any reason to tell the public about it until you made it public. That's the problem. No one is obligated, even if they're a public figure, they're not obligated to tell the internet 100% of all their private drama. I wasn't trying to keep things a secret, just private in the way that felt comfortable for the two of us. I would never let what you did to me slide under the rug. Yeah, if I was still in a horrible mental state, I would have stayed quiet and to this day wouldn't- and this day wouldn't have happened. But I got better and have more self-respect for myself than to not let anyone hurt me this bad and get away with it. My own personal note. If you think running away is going to be your final attempt to change, that'll be very surprising. You could count- you could change for the better, but don't want to see it. Stay out of my life. We're on page 8 of 69, guys. Oh boy. Okay. Oh! My god, they had captions in the original video? Holy shit. Alright. <sighs> Did you forget you were always the one to crawl back to me? Did you forget all the times you said, I really want to change for the better and make it up to you? You're a lying piece of shit. You've been saying that to me for two to three years now, and here we are. I loved you. I really did. I loved you so much I stayed for so long even after the shit you put me through. This is just BPD ranting. Then you dare make up your own little sob story about how somehow somehow shifting the blame onto me, saying that I was the bad one. How you even twist all the lying, cheating, manipulation, love bombing, and abandoning you did to me. You fucking hurt me. You've left so many mental scars on me. Uh, this is the same thing in the background. Oh. How, how bold, how funny. Did you expect me to stay quiet? Did you forget about the first, third, and fourth animation gifts I did? What about the second? Wanna know why there's not a second one? Oh, yeah, because there's- because that's when I should've fucking left you. You left me on my 15th birthday. Mm, pour one out. You used me on Christmas. What does that even mean? You left me for someone you met in two weeks, and even then treated them like the second choice. You're such a cunt! Oh, and that's just scratching the surface. <laughs> this is why mom doesn't fucking love you! I'm not wanting to post much because I'm scared of private stuff coming out about me. Aw, was I the private stuff still, still trying to keep me- Okay, stop projecting. Okay, I'm, I'm- It's just a lot of, like, shit talking. I get it. We'll be here forever if we look at every single screenshot. Okay, continuing on, Cortel's general audience ranges from children to adults. Going from her server rules, it- it is people 14 plus has recently been changed to 16 plus, with some exceptions. Uh, while it could be argued she was not aware of her young audience- A young person not aware of their young audience, okay. She confirms what is the minimum age for the server and depicts- and depicts further that she tends to surround herself around- Cause she is young! You- I mean, like, if- if she was like in her mid-twenties, like, early to mid-twenties or older than that, then yeah, it'd be weird for her to be surrounding herself with a young audience. 
But considering that she started as like a 12 year old, 11 or 12 year old, she makes content for children and she's still very much close to the age of like minors, right? Section, we're only on section two. I can't, dude. <laughs> Okay, if this is just about, like, bullying, whatever. We already know she's, like, a shithead. I, I don't really... Can we, like, skip this? She's a teenager, and teenagers are fucking stupid, okay? Why am I seeing a third person? Fucking... Me? You... Oh, my God. <laughs> she just fall over. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Oh, my running. God. Stop running. Stop being friends with my ex. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Wow, she sounds crazy. Trigger warning for death implication. Mel zombie animation. Wait, has her- you, she would likely post her WFIPs on her alt channel for animation she did not finish. In the ending of that video, a full sketched out animation is made of her and Momo burying Orange's fictional corpse. <laughs> okay, let's see it. I thought that said Bigfoot dried burrito. <laughs> Oh, get it? Wow, so mature. So mature, Cortels. Horror! <laughs> this part of the narcissism obsessive section will be provided by word of mouth. Unfortunately, there's no- whatever, I don't- I don't care. Character theft? Oh, I really don't care about this. Let's just skip that entire section. I don't give a fuck. Mentionable factors. Able- oh god, here we go. Ableism, racism, drug addiction, sexual assault, abusive relationship, pedophilia, and pro-shipping. So these are just honorable mentions. What? Mel's prediction of trauma, I don't care. She's a teenager. Cortel's, while a conflicted drama, does not deserve her platform to be taken down. Okay, fair enough. Some people believe for her platform to be removed. However, she is still a young person who just turned into an adult. Then why are you making this? Uh, if you if you acknowledge this, then why did this document even need to be made? Mel's ignoring the document. I, I, they're not obligated to address this document. I don't I don't care about their fucking victim impact statements. Give me a break. Thank you. I haven't seen anything from Red. I didn't bother to read anything from Red, so I might as well give them the floor here and allow them to have their victim impact statement in the form of a song. Don't you remember the times I comforted you when you needed help? The times I offered help? I was here for you, I believed you, and you never gave me those back. <laughs> Generative AI you is a mistake. Me. I am bad because you have the audacity to even disrespect my pronouns. <laughs> No, not the pronouns! Power metal ballad? Ooh, power metal? Let's go. Freaking toxic! <laughs> the, the idea of, like, power metal using freaking instead of fucking. <laughs> You're absolutely freaking horrible. You're not resisting manipulates to help them to keep our names out of their mouths. You freaking freak. <laughs> Make Scotch do Irish funk. Oh wow. Okay. There's too many shits and fucks. It won't let it go through. Damn it. All right. Fine. I'm just gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to make Irish funk, and then just read it to Irish funk. Bro, just read it. I'm gonna read it. <laughs> okay. I used to love you so- I don't think this is funk at all. I used to love you so much that I wanted to be you. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, as annoying as it can be. I didn't think I would end up being belittled and shit-talked by my role model. Yikes! If you think you can make private matters public and drag one of my best, Friends, names through the dirt, then don't cry when the same happens to you. Oh shit. Alright, here we go. Oh god damn. You are a pathological liar with an ego bigger than the state of Texas. This is what not going to school and sitting in front of a screen for six years does to a girl. Get your Australian ass into some goddamn fucking therapy. Sincerely, controlling and manipulative.
All right, we'll just skip to oranges. Wow, that ended at the perfect time. Ah, no. I'm sorry for everything. I hope things get, get... I hope things from here get out better for every single person, including you. Now, please leave me and everyone I love alone. Please. I don't want anyone else getting more hurt than what's already been done. No one else deserves more pain. Not you and not anyone else. Okay, we're finally done with this fucking document. Now we're gonna move on to the video. <laughs> Did you think we were done? Oh no, we're not done yet. There's still more to do. Someone puts that word in my mouth. Yeah, they, they didn't even, like, say who Voided is. It's just that they were, I guess, a friend of... Oh no, they were, like, a fan of Cortell's, and then that, that turned into friendship. Voided is the one who made the essay allegations? Okay. This is simply just- Yeah, don't harass the person, but they sexually assaulted somebody. It's also important to note that everyone is around the same age, so this isn't some adult minor kind of thing. These okay, alright, hold on. That's actually good to know. Alright, so... Okay, so Voided's only like a year younger. Got it. Where this situation begins is with Mel venting about her sexual life and b b Time to lock my legs behind my armrests. I'll be back in 30 minutes, guys. Half joking. Uh, damn, if you need help, winky face. In basic terms, Mel was pented up sexually and would make jokes about her not being able to relieve herself due to it. I confess because I'm broken. I know y'alls are chill, so a teenager being horny, who would have guessed? Sex isn't real. My coochie isn't real either. It's okay. It's okay. I'm the Joker IRL. It's okay. Encouraging her to do it on her own with the option of us all doing stuff she couldn't- if she couldn't get it up. What? So did they cut out- something that Clover said, and then they're just summarizing what Clover said? Is that what's happening here? I'm gonna put on background music. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. They really- they did! Why? Why? It's okay, sexy, you got this. I believe in you. It sounds more like Voided is encouraging her. Plus, if I start getting- getting my tip sticky, I can't type. And then they blur out something Clover says. Then go, 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 the wind, hello, go get slippery. I don't wanna. Saying she doesn't want to do it by herself, part one. I don't wanna. I'll do it for you then, damn. Doesn't wanna do it by herself. Is actively hinting she wants to with us. No, she didn't. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. It sounds like you guys are making the offer. There is nothing in here that is, to me, that is sexually hinting at her, like, her. throwing hints out. Saying she doesn't want to do it by herself, but she's not saying she doesn't want to do it by herself. She's just saying she doesn't want to do it. Bec the context is up here. She's saying she doesn't want to because she doesn't want to get messy. But they're interpreting it as if she's saying, I don't want to do this alone, as if trying to drop hints that they should do it with her. But that's not what's happening here. They are reading too much into it. Both Voided and Clover were okay with the idea to help Mel in their issues, since they both mutually were interested in her. It's not just that they were okay with the idea, they were actively issues, encouraging they it. Both See, it's Voided proposing the idea, not her hinting at it. I don't know how this could be even interpreted as Cortell's dropping hints that like, oh, you guys should jerk off with me, because that's not really what happened here at all. I don't even know how you could, like, interpret it that way. Okay, but yes, yes, just to remind you again, don't feel ever pressured to follow through with any group activitying, just because we talked about it a lot before, okay, smiley face? If you are ever comfy, then great, cool, we can do whatever and find out. If not, that's equally as okay. Okay, so what's the problem? And that's exactly what she did. Something else I just noticed is that the screenshot where Voided is saying that Mel isn't pressured to do anything with them and the screenshot of them deciding to jerk it in VC together are being presented to us out of order. The screenshots where they're deciding to do a sexual act in VC together is happening on July 27th of 2023, while the screenshot of Voided reassuring Mel is happening on March 15th of 2023, meaning that this screenshot came before the other one. The way they're presenting it here is them trying to make it look like Mel was not so subtly dropping hints that she wanted to do sexual acts with them, and then Voided reassured Mel that she doesn't have to do anything with them, as if they were trying to tell Mel to back off. 
but that's just not what was happening here. These screenshots are months apart from each other, and that is months worth of stuff that we likely don't even get to see. The question then arises, if the series of events is playing out the way that you say they do, then why do the screenshots have to be presented so dishonestly? There had been a period of time where Mel was radio silent about the entire situation, and the there was a time where Mel was radio silent about a private personal situation that doesn't have to be disclosed to the public in any shape or form if she doesn't want it to be. Hey Google, how to write an apology? I don't mean an apology to everyone. I always haven't- to Los Angeles, Here's some Nah, fuck off. I wasn't asking you. If Mel doesn't think that she was in the wrong, or she doesn't think that she is in the wrong, then she has no reason to apologize. In my opinion, she should just own up to it and say like, yeah, I don't feel sorry, I don't feel bad. I was in the right. I wasn't perfect, but I was in the right. If she just said that, that's fine. Yeah, sure, call her a jerk, whatever, I don't care. Just the fact that before this, Voided was consistently asking Mel to talk about the things that had happened to them. Okay, hold on. Just April 20th, 2024. Hey, hi, since it's 420 for me, I'm letting you know I'm gonna take an edible so we can have this convo tomorrow. After we both slept, maybe? I know it's a bit- I know it's a bit to ask, but pre preferably, preferably if you could not get on VR, talk a bunch with Kai about all this beforehand, that'd be more than appreciated. I would like for us to be unbiased and of an okay mental while talking because I don't really want a repeat of what happened earlier. Sorry if this too, these screenshots suck, by the way. Sorry if this is too soon to remind you. I don't mean to be a bother, but I was wondering if we could VC since you're finally off VR and active right now from what I've seen. Avoided in-person communication. Can we talk about it in a VC or something? About, about it being what? I don't know, because that part is cut out. I know you probably don't want to be fr- Okay. The, the screenshot sucks! Why do you have stuff that's covering up the screenshot here? What the hell? This screenshot sucks. Ah, oh, no, I'm not comfortable VCing for this. I'd rather text this out more than anything. So that's just them flatly saying no thanks, which, whatever. Not to push it, but I think this isn't something that's good to be in text at all. Well, too bad. I, they said they don't want to VC about it, so... Too bad. I know you don't want to, but can we please just VC instead? Telling tone through text is hard, and it's hard to be sincere. No. They already said no. You're gonna have to deal with it. I'm already set on leaving, and it's my choice to do so. No one has pushed this on me. I'm not comfortable with VCing. Again, I would rather type this out instead. Okay, so very clearly setting a clear and solid boundary. I don't want to talk about this in VC. I would rather type it out instead. That's pretty cut and dry to me. Okay, so these these screenshots are out of order, by the way. Um... Since Kai kicked me from the instance I'm getting off VR, if you can continue that convo, please. Something we don't get to see, okay. Can't when y'all are on... are on VR. Yeah, sure, I'm sorry she kicked you. I didn't want her to, but yeah, okay. It's... it wasn't your fault, so it's okay. Is right now okay or... or in a while? What do you mean? So, we don't know what's being said here because it's hidden. Because the screenshot sucks. Can we maybe talk later after VR chat? Don't have to be today, but again, it's hidden! Fucking hell. It doesn't have to be super serious either, I'm just, I miss you girl, and I kinda need you here for me. This just comes off as in incredibly needy. They show this screenshot as an example of Voided wanting to talk to Mel about the situation specifically. But here, in this screenshot, you can see Voided saying, doesn't have to be super serious either, I'm just, I miss you, and I kind of need you here for me. That doesn't sound like they want to talk about the, the situation, right? It just sounds like Voided just wants to talk. Oh, I wasn't? I'm just tired and was listening to a lo along to everyone's convo, but when I'm able to, sure, sure. For real? Uh. What do you mean, ignored? It's only been half an hour. You for real gotta get a little better at just telling me you're busy or saying not right now. Because when I get no reply, I assume I'm being ignored, obviously, and don't want to bother slash freak you out by sending more unreplied to messages so, and then continues to do so. This just sounds like Mel doesn't want to be like, doesn't want to hang out with you. 
I'm sorry, but I it it sounds like Voided is just not taking the hint. If you are constantly over and over and over and over again being like, hey, can we chat? Hey, can we chat? Hey, can we talk? I want to talk to you right now. Hey, it sounds like you're just ignoring me. And they're like, oh, yeah, sorry. I'll get around to it. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm sorry she kicked you. I didn't want her to, but like, oh, so oh that sucks. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, sure. When I, I'll, when I get around to it. Like, if that's all you're getting, they don't want to talk to you. Take the hint and move the fuck on. Okay? I'm sorry it doesn't seem fair, but not everybody gets what they want. So Kai kicked me from the instance I'm getting off VR. If you can continue that convo, please DM me and we can VC or something because I can't when y'all are on VR. Like, what convo? I don't know, because it's not being specified. Yeah, I think Vo Void could have just simply asked or said, Hey, when you're not busy, can we please talk and wait for Mel to respond? Or, you know, like, maybe say something like, It's really important that we talk about this. You know, in some fashion. And then not get picky when the other person decides that they just want to talk in text. So, in this scenario, beggars can't be choosers. Void is begging and begging and begging to talk to, uh, to, to Mel. And then when Mel says, sure, we can talk, but I'd rather do it through text. And then Void is being like, no, that's not good enough. I need it in VC. This was attempted to be handled with privately, and this is the exact- <laughs> I- very poorly. Like, just because something isn't handled privately does not mean you can go public with it. Like, if I have a personal issue with a friend, right? And I keep ta trying to be like, hey, can we talk about this? Can we talk about this issue? And they just get ignored? Or they'd rather just forget about it and not talk about it anymore? That doesn't mean that I can then just be like, all right, I'm going to air it out to my 100k followers or whatever. Or whatever, you know? Like, I'm... That doesn't mean you get to air it out publicly. So here she says that, oh, she's consistently asking Mel to talk about the things that happened to them. But that's not the case in most of these screenshots. Most of this is just Voided being needy in general. And Void had been pouring as much information about her feelings as she could. While this could be- Okay, and? That- that's not- that's- if that doesn't change the trajectory of, like, the relationship falling apart, there's nothing you can do. I've tried that too. It don't work. <laughs> Sometimes the other person just doesn't care. And yet after a while you have to accept that and move on. First line in Mel's statement is that Mel felt she was repeatedly asked to engage in sexual interactions with Clover and Voided. I mean, based on the screenshots that you showed us, she kind of was. They were the ones constantly suggesting it. Just based on the screenshots that you have shown us in your video. While in reality, Mel had been consistently talking about her sexual nature. Talking about being horny is not the same as I want you guys to jerk off in a VC with me. Like, we've seen these already. They're just saying, like, I, like basically they're saying, I don't want to jerk it right now because I don't want to get messy. And then they're the ones that suggest, oh, let's do it with you. And mind you, we're only getting snippets of these conversations. There could very well be more that they're not showing nature and was even encouraged to do it herself than in a group she was even encouraged to do it herself rather than in a group but hold on a second hold on let me let me go back let me go back yeah no this is being very dishonestly portrayed here because when she says that she makes it sound like that these two screenshots happened first of like them offering to jerk it with her right in a vc and then, like, she makes it out like they suggested the alternative of her doing it by herself. But these two screenshots are actually shown backwards. This happens first. And then they suggest doing it together in a group. It's not the other way around, so she's dishonestly portraying it here. Encouraged to do it herself than in a group. She was willingly... There was no, like, do it yourself rather than in a group. There was nothing like that. Okay, should we look at this statement? Oh, I'm gonna have to get my glasses on for this one. Alright, I've stated this a couple of- this is voided, okay? I found out because she had randomly admitted to me one day, I don't remember the exact wording or what she said, but, she, but it boiled down to her only sleeping with Clover to sleep with me. And by the way, when they say sleep with, they don't mean, like, actually having sex. Because these guys were not- as far as I'm aware, they were never in person with each other. This was all over Discord. At the time when this had happened, I honestly was pretty stunned. Regrettably, I waited months to tell Clover about her admitting that. I kept it to myself because I was worried, knowing just how upset it'd make her knowing that I'd initially helped reassure her that it was a mutual thing between the three of us. 
In short, I was really lost on what to do. Uh, and chose to stay silent for a long time. So basically, they had e-sex, like basically phone sex. And like, they had a phone sex threesome. And then, one of them found out that Mel didn't really love them, and so now it's sexual assault? Come on, what? To clarify, I'm pretty sure Clover and I both came up with the initial idea to help her out mutually, uh-huh. So it wasn't me trying to force her to be comfortable or anything like that, just wanted to say that just in case. Okay, whatever. Remember, Voided flirted with Mel first? Well, I'd, I don't- I don't know that, for a fact, because we don't have the entire DMs. Mel just randomly brought up her sexual issues. Clover was barely involved in the screenshots we were given. Well, we don't even know Clover's extent of it, because Clover got, like, uh, got Thanos snapped from those conversations for whatever reason. Why are they hiding the stuff that Clover is saying in those screenshots? I don't get it. Now let me give context as to why this would clarify under sexual assault. Of course. Oh, 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 now let me clarify about how this falls under sexual assault. Assault. She says assault. Assault is physical. What the fuck are you talking about? Coercion, specifically sexual coercion, is unwanted sexual activity that happens when you're pressured, threatened, or tricked. They always get hung up on the tricking part. Having consensual sex with someone, even if it's under a false pretense, is not sexual coercion. Sexual coercion is unwanted, unwanted sexual activity that happens when you're pressured, tricked, threatened, or forced. There is nothing in those DMs that indicate that it was unwanted. In fact, Voided was the one that was suggesting it. Informed consent is given when all parties are under the same agreement. In this case, Mel had used the opportunity to be sexual with all three of them with the intention of getting to Voided. So, so? They're still all consenting to the same act of sex. They're all consenting to jerking it in VC. The other context doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if one has unrequited feelings for the other. The sex is still consensual. The, the rest of it doesn't matter. Coercion through trickery. Like, what's a good example of coercion through trickery, right? I don't know, it'd be like a doctor tricking you into thinking you're getting like a mammogram when they're really just like molesting you. That's, that's what I consider to be like coercion through trickery. Uh, a good example is that one doctor that got arrested. What was his fucking name? It was back in 2014. There was this doctor for like Olympic gymnasts. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of them were children too. Where he was just straight up like, uh, molesting them under the guise of like, giving them physical checkups. That's coercion through trickery. That's sexual assault through trickery, right? This is not that. Dumbass kids acting like people don't have sexual relationships all the time without feeling attached. Yeah, this is ba this is like, um, yeah, exactly. There wasn't even sex to begin with. Uh, but here's like, here's another example. And we'll use like physical sex for this, all right? Let's say you're a girl who has a crush on a guy, right? And you want to be, like, married to him. You want to have his children. You know, you want to, like, you want to be with him romantically. And you come up to him and you want, and you, like, be like, hey, let's have sex. And he goes, yeah, sure, all right. And you two have sex. And then after it, he doesn't want to marry you. And it's like, but I thought we were having sex because you wanted to marry me. Oh, you tricked me. It's like, no, it's just that you two don't feel the same way about each other. The sex was still completely consensual. Doesn't matter if you just assumed, like, he would marry you once the sex was over. It doesn't matter. Larry Nassar, yes, thank you. Wooded and Clover had consented under the impression that this was a mutual interaction for Mel. However, later admitted from Mel of her true intentions is later confirmed to be trickery and lying. No, it's not trickery. It's just that they didn't feel the same about you as you thought they did. That is not the same thing. Which is under the name of sexual assault. Mel no, it's not! Mel has sexually assaulted Clover to get her way to Voided. You can argue with this statement, as it was allegedly stated by Voided, and there is no proof to back it up. You can also argue that this wouldn't be sexual assault, since all parties had consented at this time. I can- No, it's not sexual assault because it wasn't physical, 
and all parties consented at the time. You cannot retroactively rescind consent. You can't do that. There is no such thing as rescinding your consent after the sex has happened. If you consent before and during the sexual encounter, you've consented. There is no such thing as not consenting afterwards. That is not a thing. If that was a thing, nobody would have sex with anybody under the fear of being called a rapist later. That's not how that works. Editing note here, grooming happens over time. It isn't just one-time actions. Grooming voided was Mel getting voided and herself used to being sexual with jokes, drawings, and co No. No. Mel inflicted on voided. Voided had stated- Are you kidding me? To get to voided. Now with the grooming, Mel inflicted on voided. Oh my god. Now they're saying that because they had sexual conversations that everybody was consenting to, this is grooming. Oh my god. It never ends. It never ends. Why can't y'all just stop being friends and move on with your lives? Oh, there's a power imbalance. Oh, here we go with the power imbalance shit again. I'm not doing this. Someone being more favorable to one person, showing favoritism or special treatment to someone. Yeah, they have a fucking crush on you. No shit, they're going to show you special treatment. The whole power imbalance argument is stupid because, like, if that were true, like, if, if people were not allowed to be in relationships with each other purely based on, like, power imbalance, then my dad would not have been allowed to marry my mom because he works, uh, like, because he is, like, the co-CEO of a company. He would not have been allowed to be married to my mom. They would have to get a divorce. They would have to split up because my dad makes the money in the household. And my mom doesn't. That's a financial power imbalance. By this logic, they would not be able to, to be married to each other. There's always going to be power imbalances because nobody is 100% equal to each other. There's always going to be an imbalance, whether it's through popularity, financial, uh, financial imbalances, or whatever. Yeah, by that logic, content creators could only date a per like a pu another public figure with their exact same subscriber count number. Children may not be able to seek help because they are unaware that they're being groomed. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't give a sh I don't give a fuck. Voided being groomed would have her being this persona around Mel, since she knew the do's and don'ts when approaching to her. I do believe that Voided- But that's with every relationship. Every relationship has very specific do's and don'ts. Everybody has their boundaries. You're making it out like setting boundaries is like setting up the building blocks for grooming. She's trying to argue that because Voided has to adjust her behavior when she's around Mel versus someone else, that's like a sign of grooming or manipulation. It could just be that Mel's a, an emotionally immature person and likes her friends to be like a certain way around her. I mean, yeah, that's bitchy, but it's not grooming. Speaking of grooming, I would like to recall where I had mentioned Kai. For quick context, Kai was a friend of Voided who was and is still a fan of Mel's work. Okay. They had been getting Mel's server has been changed to 16 plus and higher. And this wouldn't be an issue if Kai wasn't 15 years old and ha has a history of lying about her age. What? what? Okay, what about it? It has given screenshots where Kai is straight up lying about her age. And what makes this more scary is that we'll never know if she's actually 15 or not due to to this history of lying. I think what she's trying to say here is that they changed the server to 16 plus, but Kai was still in there even though Kai was 15. But here's the thing. Uh, I do recall... Hold on a second, where is it? So, as of May 18th, 2023, roll update for... Yeah, May 19th. It says, newcomers and returnees must be 16 plus to join. 14 and 15 year olds that are already in the server won't be kicked. So... Also, I think that it's- I think it should be considered that maybe Mel is increasing- is gradually increasing the age gate number because she's getting older. Do you think that's- potentially a possibility there that as she gets older she wants her audience to also be older or she wants to interact with people that are still around her age bracket and that's why she's bumping up the age limit 
for fuck's sake. And this wouldn't be an issue if Kai wasn't 15 years old and had- Yeah, but it's said in the rules that they make an exception for people that are already in the server who are 14 to 15. So you kind of just, uh, conveniently forgot that part. This is a screenshot of them lying about their age. In October of 2022. So how do you know that they didn't become 15 between now, between then and when the server rules were updated? St wait, 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 this is so retarded. Wait, she's trying to say that Kai is 15, but lied about being 14 a year prior. No, no, she can't be this dumb. Yeah, apparently Kai changing their age is Mel's fault somehow. Even then, is Kai actually lying here, or is it just that he got a year older? I'm actually, like, too smart for time. Like, 15 or not due to this history of lying. Either way, this It's is not lying! It's just that Kai used to be 14, and then they became 15 a year later. Are you dumb? What the fuck are you on about? Oh, for fuck's sake! They're not lying then! Oh my god. Okay, yes, I am 15 years old as of right now. I turn 16 in 14 days. My birthday is August 19th, 2008. So they would be turning 16. They are 16 now. Okay. In 2022, they would have been 14. Stating that she's 15 years old two months after her birthday. In 2023. That's in 2023! So yes, they would be 15! And now they are 16! What are you talking about? She lets Kai bypass the server rules and to make it worse, lets her sexualize herself on this server despite not being the age of consent. This is also a space- I mean, yeah, I disagree with allowing minors to be sexual in a server, in any Discord server. Yeah, like, in a space where both minors and adults are in at the same time, it's just, no, it's, don't do that. I mean, yes, that is one thing that you can definitely say, that as she's getting older, she needs to start acting like an adult and not allowing minors to be sexual or being sexual around minors as an adult. You gotta stop doing that, right? We need to make parents responsible for what their kids do online again. We need to normalize, to renormalize that. I will say that as Mel gets older, this behavior has to stop. Absolutely. But... To say that, like, magically, as an 18-year-old, Mel is supposed to know not to do this anymore is, uh, is unreasonable at best. Kai and Mel are going to potentially see each other in real life very soon. I try- Hmm... Oh, so this is what you guys were talking about, about the questionable relationship with a 15-year-old. Yeah, that's definitely sketch. Because I know 16 and 19 is only, like, a three-year age gap. But, yeah, this, this is cringe and needs to stop. I agree. Mel is legally an adult, but we are both teenagers. We are friends. No sexual relationship, period. Okay. So what, do you think that they're going to meet up and immediately just get down and dirty? With an adult. This is also attempted to be excused from Kai as a we are still teenagers, which is straight up a lie. No, nah, you're ignoring the rest of that text. You're ignore- you're pretend- you're like, intentionally ignoring the rest of that, where they say, We are friends, no sexual- sexual relationship, period. I mean, sure, you can choose not to believe them when they say that. But, if they're saying here, we are just friends, and you're choosing to ignore that, I, I don't know, like, it, it sounds like- do you actually care? <laughs> if you're like, 19, 20, and you're still like, having like, if you're still, like, having sex jokes and sexual conversations with people under the age of 18, it's just fucking weird. Stop. Stop that shit. Now that she is an adult, I feel like she needs to, like, if she's not going to, like, clean up her act, and she's going to continue to have this kind of, like, behavior and humor, then she needs to, like, make a strict 18 plus clause or rule and not break that rule, not make exceptions for that rule. 
Me personally, I see 18 as still a teenager, even if it's legally an adult. Mindset wise, maturity wise, I still see that as like a teen. And I'm willing to like be more graceful towards somebody depending on the severity uh, when they are 18, right? But once you turn 19, 20, 21, that's when the grace period sort of ends where it's like, okay, you need to start cleaning up your shit, you know? That's kind of my, my take on that. Like, 18 is the age where you need to start learning that that shit is not okay. But, like, if you mess up, or you do something, you know, immature, or or whatever, it's like, okay, you fucked up, but I can give you some grace because you're 18. But, again, you know, after that, it's like, alright, you need to start, you need to start acting like an adult now. This painted imagery that she will always be a victim to the situations she basically created is delusional. Which she didn't create all of these situations. You can't say that she basically created all of these situations, especially with the voided stuff, where that was all mutual. And the idea of them jerking it in a VC together was suggested to her by them when they initiated it. You can't say everything is Mel's fault. Yeah, she's not a she's not the perfect victim and she's quite frankly an asshole who is very irresponsible and negligent and that needs to like she needs to grow up and realize that she can't be acting like this anymore. But she's not 100% the perpetrator either. She didn't sexually assault anybody and as far as I can tell she is not grooming anybody is that she isn't even concerned with these titles. She's more concerned with making literal animation memes than a- Because that's what she's known for! I just want to animate animation memes, man. And that she's not obligated to do anything more than that. She's making it out like, uh, Mel, as a public figure, has like some moral obligation to be like a higher authority. And while I agree that she at least needs to be responsible for the child audience that she has, like, age-gating, outside of that, you don't gotta do anything else. She doesn't have to be some moral authority. Addressing these situations herself, which, by the way, are sexual assault grooming nope. allegations. Nope. And they're false allegations and, frankly, quite stupid. Of course she doesn't feel the need or want to address them because they're dumb. Yeah, if the allegations have no evidence behind them, I'm gonna add to that, if they have no evidence and or merit to them, then yeah, she can ignore them. I'm sorry, but these allegations are dumb, so of course she's ignoring them. I hope that this video will shed some more light of the- No, nah, well, I mean, it sheds some light in how dumb this- how dumb and unnecessary uh, like, 99% of this drama is. It's just teen angst. Disguised as, like, you know, severe, like, allegations. <laughs> it's like, no. Get over yourselves. And, uh, I don't know. Just get over yourselves. So, yeah, my conclusion is that everybody in this situation is a petty asshole, and they should all just stop talking to each other. That's usually my conclusion when I when I approach any of these dramas. You're all assholes, stop talking to each other.